Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jumpstart your Hyundai Santa Fe. Alright guys, so when you're trying to un unlock your Hyundai Santa Fe and your battery's dead and you hit the unlock button, it may not unlock for you, right? So what you got to do is take the metal key out of here by pressing this little button right here. Press that little button and then the key will pull out like so. And then... Put that up here for now, take your metal key, stick it into the door like so, and unlock it, and then boom, you can open up your vehicle now. Okay, once you have your vehicle unlocked, you'll go ahead and open up the vehicle, and down here under the dash, you'll see this little lever with the vehicle on it with the hood popped. Go ahead and pull that. That's going to pop your hood, and then you come around here and lift up the hood but it won't just lift up because it has a secondary safety latch which is right here see this thing you got to pinch that with your four fingers right here and then lift up the hood they usually have hood struts not all of them probably but this one has hood struts so it'll hold the hood up for you and then once you're under the hood you'll see your battery here on the driver's side uh, you have your positive here which has a red plus sign on it and then the negative usually doesn't have anything right here, but you can usually see a black wire like going down to the vehicle like it is there and mounting. And sometimes under here it'll have a negative, but as long as you can locate the positive, that'll obviously give you what your negative is. So go ahead and push this little plastic thing and lift up the plastic covering and that's gonna expose your metal part that you're gonna clamp your red cable to right here. This little metal part right here. That's where your red cable goes. And you can jump start this using jumper cables from another vehicle or a jump box. I'm gonna be using a jump box. This is the NOCO Boost Pro GB150. Got this off of eBay for like 300 bucks. And let's get my cables out. First thing I wanna do is make sure my box is off. If you're jumping it from another car, you wanna make sure the other car is off. And then you're just gonna connect your red cable like so. Right, boom. Hook it on there, make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. And then we're gonna hook up our negative. So make sure it's nice and tight and clamped on good. And you can see here on the box, it's reading 4.3. So we know we got a dead battery. We're gonna go ahead and turn this box on. And if you were using another vehicle to jump it from, you would now turn on the other vehicle and then you would turn this vehicle on. So now that we have our box on, we're gonna go ahead and sit in the car and attempt to start it. So we wanna make sure our foot is on the brake. We wanna make sure we're in gear. Sometimes they're in a different gear, which will keep them from starting. You wouldn't believe how many times I've showed up to a call and it's been in a different gear. So foot on the brake, make sure you're in park, take your key fob, hold it close to the push button because the frequency gets shorter when the batteries are dead and push the button. There you go. Vehicle's running. Good to go. That's how to jump start your Hyundai Santa Fe. Now we'll connect the 14 volts on an alternator to be good. So we're good there. It's just a, a bad battery. We'll go ahead and turn our box off and then disconnect the cables. If we were using another car to jump it from, we'd turn that other car off, disconnect the cables uh, from that one and then from this one. And so now we'll go ahead and move all this and so shut that plastic cover back down. That makes sure uh, that nothing metal touches it and, and arcs out. Um, your battery on this one is a, I think a 48H, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see it on here. But uh, the customer went and got another battery from Walmart, right? And this is not a four, this is not the correct battery. This is a uh, 124R. Um, that would possibly work, but if you see the difference here, this one has a recessed top, so this terminal will sit down lower, and the reason it does that is because this airflow uh, tube runs through here. This catches cold air from the grill, and it goes through to your air box right here, and so this battery has to sit a little bit lower than normal, and so to do that, they recess these terminals, the, both the positive and the negative, and actually this thing for like the positive has to sit down in that little recess as well as the uh, negative. And if you look at like this battery here, 
you'll see there's no recess in this battery. This is a, a flush mounted terminal battery. So this is an incorrect battery, unfortunately. She'll have to take it back. But the good thing about taking this back is if she takes it to like an auto parts store like AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto, you know, whatever parts store you guys have in your area as well, if you buy the battery from them, they'll install it for you for free, which is much better than this scenario where she would have to have someone else install it, which you don't really want to run the risk of having someone install it. It's not a professional. So a couple of things there to add to the video, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you were changing this battery out yourself, you would take a flathead screwdriver and pop up these two tabs, remove those two clips. This tunnel tube thing would come out take a 10 millimeter and just loosen that nut again over here just loosen this nut you don't have to take them off that would wiggle that terminal off it's got a lot to say and then you would have your terminals out and then you have one 13 millimeter down here that holds the battery in and that's it that's how to jump start your hyundai santa fe all right guys that's how to jump start your hyundai santa fe i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe drop me a comment at the bottom and i'll see you guys on the next video bye